from Water Wave TV. This is episode eight or nine. I think it's eight of the Water Wave Couch. I'm here with Deja Mikael. How have you been? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What have you been working on recently? Uh, got a lot of new stuff coming out. Um, a mm-hmm. lot of collabs with the gang. 50K RSVP. No. Yeah. Yeah. We got a live audience with us. We got 50K oh, yeah, and we got, we got Twin got City Tone in the building. Shout out Twin City Tone. Shout out yeah. 50K. Where can they follow you at? You can follow me on all platforms at Deja McKell. It's D-E-J-A-M-I-Q-U-E-L. Before we get too deep into this podcast, we do have a sponsor for the podcast on Waterwave TV called Northern Chill. If you don't know what Northern Chill is, it is a premium and natural alkaline mineral spring water born in a glacier created aquifer from Polar, Wisconsin. We got the cat running around. <laughs> she was drinking. Tweaking. It gives you energy. helps with heartburn. It's alkaline. 7.8 pH level. I recommend Northern Chill, and now Deja can yep. try Northern Chill for the first time. Yep. We do a live reaction on the podcast as tradition. You can buy Northern Chill at Cub Foods or Kowalski's or use our link in the description for 10% off and free shipping on Amazon. Mmm, it's kind of good. It's pretty good, huh? Taste the pH. <laughs> when did When did you start making music? I've been, like, posting, like, little rap videos on Facebook since I was, what, eighth grade. Okay. So, like, a good minute. I'm 19 mm-hmm. now. When did you release your first song? Last year, actually. That's when yeah. I, like, really started taking music seriously. So, yeah. That's, that's when cool. I dropped my first song. Why did you start making music? Because I've always been around it. It's just, like, a normal thing for me. You know, because mm-hmm. my dad makes music, Twin City Tone, if y'all don't know. Mm-hmm. Now y'all know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I'm, yeah, I've just been doing music pretty much because j- it's just normal for me. Yeah. It's in my blood. Would you say he like he's your influence in music? Uh, I was, mm, mm, I don't know about my influence, but, like, he gives me a good push. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Do you feel, do you feel like you ha- you live up to a certain standard? Yes. Because you, your dad's well known. I definitely known have to. The Minnesota music scene. Yes, he definitely is. M- more known than me, so I'm trying to you know mm. beat him out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You uh you recently uh won shut up shut up and rap a few times, correct? Yeah, I won. Yeah, so that was cool. I performed the song that I'm gonna be dropping. It's called Motor Mouth. Uh, it's gonna be dropping soon on all platforms. So yeah. And you get to perform at Soundset. Yeah. That's excited for yeah, that. Yeah, I get to perform at Soundset. Um, 2020. Be there. Don't be a square. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, to be lit. You wanna grab the cat so she don't knock the TV down? Whoa, mama. She's like hyper. I don't know why she's so hyper. It's that water. <laughs> I don't know. Do you, uh, <laughs> do you enjoy performing more or releasing music? Like, do you do you performing. enjoy you enjoy like seeing people enjoying music yeah, more than releasing something? Yeah, new? I love performing. Like, it's like, I don't know. Like, it's just like you're in the moment and you get to interact with other people and it's just fun. Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite song you've made? Favorite song right now? Hmm. That's a good question. It's between... What's it called? What's it called? You know, what song is it? I know what it's called, but I don't know what it's called. It's called Can't Be Saved. That's what it's called. It's new. Okay. Unreleased? Unreleased, yeah. Unreleased. Can't Be Saved. That's my favorite one I got right now. That one's coming soon as well. Okay. Do you, uh, where do you make your music at? Um, anywhere from L Studios to our studio at the house, we d- we all record there together. So, okay. that's mm-hmm. cool. Who uh, who do you work with mostly in the music game? Like, who is like your peers around you? Um, well, Fit K R Z P and Dylan or Endless Vision, Clout Lord. Mm-hmm. That's my producer. Yeah, and NFG Mayhem. Big shout out to NFG Mayhem. Mm-hmm. So yeah, those that's are my. Cool. People. Yeah, shout out to they go by Il Cartel. Is that what yep. they go by? Il Cartel. Shout out to Il Cartel. Yep. Il, Il, Il Studios. Studios. Where do you see yourself as an artist in three years? Up there, mm-hmm. like I'm trying to be billionaire <laughs> by mm-hmm. that time. In three years, I'm mm-hmm. trying to be super up. Okay. What is your plans to get there? A uh, whole lot of networking, whole lot of dropping music. We gotta drop a lot more. We gotta push our stuff. Um, social media as far as like mm-hmm. pushing content on social media um hmm? oh yeah definitely marketing the merch and everything mm-hmm. so yeah for sure 
What do you think? What's like the the biggest thing that someone could do to get their name out there? Um, honestly, popping out and just like actually showing your face places mm-hmm. and introducing yourself to people so they get a good feel on what type of person you are energy wise. Yeah. So you think do you think Minnesota is a really talented state for Minnesota music? is the most slept on state in the United States mm-hmm. and that's a super fact like Why you there's so much talent like even in my group there's so much talent like exactly. it's just like there's so many different there's something for everybody literally and there's so many artists too right so many it's like crazy what do you think uh what do you think we haven't hit that mainstream name as a state yet um honestly it's all about support you know like people in minnesota don't necessarily support as much i'm not saying nobody does don't get me wrong people Mm -hmm. do support but there's a lot of people that are like they're too cool to promote other people's music to like you know just help them out like give them a share or repost it on their story or anything you know people think they're too cool for that and that's like a big problem you're not too cool everybody if we gotta blow up together as a state that's pretty much how it's gonna go yeah you gotta come together that's the only way you're gonna you're gonna make that culture in the, in the state is Definitely. to be able to come together. Um, if you could spend a full day with one person, who would it be? Mm. Famous person or like whoever. Uh. If you had 24 hours left to live, who would you spend your 24 hours with? If I had 24 hours, oh my. Okay, maybe like, not that. <laughs> I'm gonna say like what my mom had, or my dad. What if you had? What if you just got? You just got to do whatever you wanted for a full day. What would you do? If I could do whatever I wanted for a full day. I would go to L.A., probably. And I would be probably with, let's see, who do I love right now? Rico, Nasty, Coy um, Trippy would be there even though, you know, they don't like each other, whatever. Um, let's see, who else do I like? Obviously, the gang would be there. Um, my mom, my sister. Mm-hmm. And record, go to the beach, smoke, you know. Just vibe out now. Just vibe way. out, you know. Mm-hmm. Who's your uh, Who's your favorite artist now? Uh, right now, it's it's a, it's in between Juice World and Trippy Red. Okay. I'm I'm leaning towards Juice World right now. So yeah, he's definitely a big inspiration to me. Do you? Yeah, I was about to ask who is like your your biggest inspiration while you're while while you're making music. Like Juice Word are trippy because okay. they got the the melodic rap thing and there's mm-hmm. no there's no girls who really do melodic rap like that so it's just like that's why I'm really trying to do it because it's just so different you yeah. know how would you explain your music to someone that's never listened to you before oh it's so hard I've done it multiple times it's like you gotta tell them okay so I rap but I do melodies in the rap yeah so it's literally like a melodic rap that's literally the best way to explain it mm-hmm. yeah you uh you made a song about fortnite or a yeah. reference to fortnite i play a lot of games mm-hmm. um right now apex is the move fortnite you know the black hole and everything um but yeah it, it was just like at that time i was really playing fortnite heavy and my favorite skin on Fortnite was the bunny. Mm-hmm. So that was just like, on a game four, and I got on a bunny. <laughs> just like, yeah. That's cool. What's your What games did you play growing up as a kid? Um, Call of Duty. A lot of Call of Duty. Zombies. That yeah. was like my main one, definitely. I'm trying to think, what else did I play? Nintendo games, whatever my dad would have. Um, Bubble Bobble. I'm trying to think. What else? I don't know. I, I played a lot of Wii games growing up. Yeah, definitely. Everybody Wii. loves the Wii, Wii games. Wii you know, Wii bowling, the baseball, boxing. Mm-hmm. Throw your arm out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about uh, what about cartoons? SpongeBob, mm-hmm. definitely SpongeBob. Uh, Boondocks. Um. Cartoons. Cat dog. What else did I watch? These are all the anime weirdos in here. I never watched that stuff. Sorry. Um, <laughs> nothing against you all, but, like, it's weird. But, yeah, I don't know. I watch Teen Titans, stuff like that. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Mm-hmm. You know, stuff like that. So your dad's a vegan. Yeah, uh, he's a it, vegan. Is it weird? Was it weird growing up with, a, like, 
with vegan meals being oh, all no. around the house? Or it did wasn't, you like it? It wasn't even that because he didn't turn vegan until I was like 14. Okay. So it was like we would go to Wingstop and eat but burgers. from 14 till on, was he trying to persuade you to um, do it? Yeah, no. you know, he always trying to show me the documentaries and tells mm-hmm. me, you know, you know, eggs are chicken periods and like just telling me all <laughs> everything nasty, you know, like. It's, I don't know. I'm <laughs> to the point, I'm a vegetarian now. I don't eat meat. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think I can do vegan just because I like dairy products so much. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> what's one thing, what's one thing that you think you've done so far that's gotten to you to where you are today? Mm, one thing, um, confidence. I've mm-hmm. gained a lot of confidence, and that, that definitely has helped me a lot with my stage presence, and that's helped me get the spot at Soundset, and that's helped me win. I won a competition at the Red Sea. So I'm, like, starting to get more recognized because of I'm winning competitions because mm-hmm. I can perform with confidence, and I'm not timid on stage. So, yeah, that's definitely yeah. a big key. Yeah, I think your your name has been growing a lot in the past few months. With yeah, the, I, been yeah I gained, like, I 300 see followers somewhere in the past, seems like, like every two week. months. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, that's real cool. Well, I was like, yeah, so it's got to keep pushing, keep getting the followers, keep getting our following up. I follow back, by the way, if you want to follow me, I'll follow you back. And, yeah. What's one thing that separates you from all the other artists? Um, I'm really weird. Uh, I'm different, and I'm, like, a really, like, nice person. Like, I'm almost too nice. Like, I do, I think for other people more than I think for myself. Mm-hmm. And... It's just like, hmm, I'm trying to put this in the right words. So pretty much, I do my music because I want to put other people on. I'm not just trying to do it for me, Mm -hmm. you know? Like, I'm doing it, doing it because I want to see everybody else up with me, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. And my sound is really different as well. Like, Mm -hmm. nobody, there's not a girl artist right now that sounds like me that I know of. There could be, but I don't know of them. So yeah, yeah. Do you plan on dropping a project? Um, yes, there is gonna be an EP coming very soon. Got the, I got the songs. I just need to, you know, select. Yeah. And put it together. Find a name. Cover art. It's coming for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. You got any big plans for 2020? Um. Well, definitely sound set. That's a big thing. Um. Other than that, there's going to be a lot of, like, networking. We're going to start um, hosting parties and events. We're, we decided we're going to start hosting events and stuff. So that'll be a definitely a big thing to look forward to. That's cool. For sure. Awesome. Is there anything else you want to tell them? Um, Ride the wave, man. Just ride the wave. Water wave. You know what the fuck going on. Mm-hmm. And we got a show mm-hmm. November 17th. Yes, November 17th. You, me, as well as Repo, NZ. We're all going to be in there, 50 k RSVP, and yeah. then we're going to bless y'all with some lyrical goodness, you know, some some great stuff. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be great. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're using this camera now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you drink Northern Chill. Make sure you follow Deja. Make sure you follow Water Wave. Make sure you follow 50K. Make sure you follow Twin City Tone. Make sure you stay tapped in. Make sure you like this video, and stay tuned for the next interview. I'm out. Thanks. Don't be wasting all my time Cause baby